Hi, I'm Elias Harger, and today we will be reading Did You Steal My Chestnuts? by Jum Eung and illustrated by Wan Thanaupit. During springtime, Squirrel found a hollow tree and thought, I can store food here for winter. This will be a perfect home. Squirrel worked hard from spring to summer and collected many chestnuts. Now his hollow tree was full. But when autumn came, Squirrel discovered some of his chestnuts were missing. He was very upset. He decided to climb down the tree to catch the thief. He met Bird and asked her, Did you steal my chestnuts? Or shook her head. Chirp, chirp. I only eat worms. Chirp, chirp. Then Squirrel came across a beehive. He asked, Did you steal my chestnuts and hide them in your hive? The bee said in unison, We only store honey and flower pollens. Really? said Squirrel. I want to see. You're going to destroy our hive, the bee said angrily. They started to swarm Squirrel. So Squirrel ran down the tree. Next, Squirrel bumped into a singing cicada. He asked Cicada, Did you steal my chestnuts? Cicada rolled his eyes. I only eat resin. Squirrel didn't believe Cicada. He pushed her aside to look into her nest. You're so rude, cried Cicada. But there was nothing in her nest after all. Later, Squirrel met Monkey. Did you steal my chestnuts? Why would I steal your chestnuts? said Monkey. I only eat fruit. You really only eat fruit? No chestnuts at all? asked Squirrel. Stop blaming me, shouted Monkey. I only like fruit. Squirrel left frustrated. Then Squirrel met a chameleon. Did you steal my chestnuts? asked Squirrel. Chameleon said grumpily, I only eat insects. Did you disguise my chestnuts by changing their color? Chameleon turned green. Only my skin changes colors. Squirrel was nearly at the bottom of the tree. He was sad. He couldn't figure out who had taken his chestnuts. Suddenly, he realized exactly what had happened. There was a big hole in the tree trunk. The chestnuts had fallen down from Squirrel's home and covered up Mole's house. Squirrel spent the next day fixing the hole. He happily climbed back to his home with his missing chestnuts. When winter arrived, Squirrel was not worried at all. He was warm. He had his chestnuts.